Next, the spark plugs get the redneck restoration. Morning. We're just having fun. If you take stuff too serious, this channel may not be for you, buddy. Man, oh man, here we go again. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I'm running plumb behind. Getting a late start in this week for the video. Now the old dad's in, she's at the sandblaster, okay? We'll be getting her back soon enough. Uh-huh, she's looking good, ain't she? Yes, sir, I'm ready to get that thing wrapped up and on the old mean streets of Pot County, baby. She's gonna be one of the baddest box trucks on the road. Well, there's only one other. Damn right that yeehaw. Of course, she's mine too. Uh, we got the best fleet of box trucks around. The old box truck mafia. Getting a late start on the video anyhow, but we've been doing a lot of merchandise stuff. Hey, I bought a couple vehicles yesterday, okay? I, I had to shuffle them around. And I'm not saying stuff got a little squirrely, but things got a little interesting anyhow. A little teaser for y'all. Uh, apparently tabs that have a triangle cut into them are not good for flat towing. Uh, that provides a good weak point, come to find out. But we ain't here for that this week. I ain't even gonna tell you what I bought. I'm gonna keep it a hush-hush secret. And trust me, there's a handful y'all don't know about, okay? I like to keep them on the DL, that old down low. Uh, we're actually gonna mess with one today. Now y'all know about this one. It's the, it's the orange Datsun. I've teased y'all with it. It's sitting back in my field. I've been waiting for it to dry up because we got some good rain in my back field. Well, she gets a little wet. Uh, it's going to be tricky. I want to say all four wheels and tires are locked up on her. That's okay with me. I was planning on working out there because, hell, I like sunshine. Guys, feels good in the sun. But the wind is just blowing so damn hard. It'd be one hell of a day to have a sailboat. I guarantee it. You could cross the Twin Lakes in five minutes flat. That wind's just a cooking it out there. That old wind blowing, that's what wind blowing looks like, by the way. <laughs> hey, that old wind blowing, it ain't good for audio, uh, but we still gotta get her up here. So let's get, let, let's see what we get into here. First, we're gonna get old Edna out of her way. She's feeling a little sassy this morning. Oh, damn. Now we're losing. Oh, not the wires. Come on, girl. Yeah, she's in bad shape, ain't she? I can't believe those wires don't support that going 80 down the highway. Looks like someone's had a break into here before. I think we already... Yes, sir. We got a jack and boards already. There's what we're after right there, that old brake drum puller. Get her my bag of goodies here. You know it'd be handy right now? Last week, if y'all didn't see that video, guys, we took my little Toyota Dually. We took that Toyota Dually, we built a crane on the back, and we even picked up the ass end of a Datsun. Oh, she's still going, guys. She's still going. She ain't scared. What do you guys think? You gonna crawl up underneath there and change those shocks out, or you need me to do it? She's got mud tires. We could have drove it back there. Uh, it's still out at Dad's, okay, so I ain't brought her home yet. They'll just have to do her the old-fashioned way, and that's okay, because I ain't scared. Mama didn't raise no punt. Find us some decent rollers here. Oh, she's got the rattle can chrome, and she holds air. She got air in her, too. Not this one. She's got a slight leak. She's flat, but I think she'll hold air. There we go. Hey, who needs a flatbed when you got a semi-flat hood? You know what I mean? 
there she is in all of her glory. Yeah, she's at the end of the row of mini truck death row here. We got all kinds of parts rigs sitting here. Don't mind those good rollers or those good rollers because right here we got some top quality ones, baby. Hell, she's got air in her. She does not. She kind of become a storage for my other Datsun parts for now. Yes, sir, don't y'all worry about that. Now it's so damn windy out here guys we're gonna have to get her up to the shop and then i'll give you a pretty decent once over show you what we got going on here boy that little cup holder with the storage thing is sweet she's ready for a roadie <laughs> yep let's get her jacked up we're putting a board down because this ground's pretty wet Oh, they're off the ground. Y'all know what they say. If that old jack's a screeching, put them fab shops doing some teaching. For our next lesson, you want to get your coil, all right? If you're going to use Luby Dube, it has to match the truck. Each lug nut gets a little pre soak. I think those are a 21. Sure are. Hey, there we go. We like that. Don't forget that one on the bottom. That's my favorite six lug 14 inch stilly right there. I love those styles. I think they look good. Does she spin? Hey, we got a spinner and a winner right there, folks. Hey, yeah. Oh yeah, she's ready to fall off that jack. We gotta be careful here. There we go. Should be pushing over my tripod win. Good enough for rolling, guys. Good enough. Gotta love you, rusty lug nut. Nothing like them getting stuck in the socket every go around. Oh yeah, look at that May Pop. Got that damn old tire plugger hanging out right there. That old Steely's a little pitted, but she'll still make a good wheel. If y'all can't tell, I'm a fan of the Steely's around here. I think I have close to 40 six lug 14 inch dillies for all these little trucks <laughs> that's some quick pot county math she wants to spin if you love taps never hurt i'll try to work a little looby dooby down in there I didn't bring a lot of tools with me, of course. This old knife never lets me down, though. She ain't gonna start today, neither is she. No, sir. There we go. Let's see if we get our cotter pin out here. Heaven forbid we go up to the shop and get the right tools. We'll make do. Got our little retaining thing. Found a pair of channel locks in the damn trunk. Looky there. Got that nut off. Next we're gonna get this old washer out of here, maybe. Here we go. Come on, baby. She's almost there. Yeah, we may have her stuck now. Oh, there we go. She just slid pretty good right there. We may have found the sweet spot finally. 
Yeah, baby. That's all we want. We want that pad out of there. That explains why she was locking up some. I'm just gonna put her right back together. Yeah, she'll spin now. A little retainer on. That cotter pin on. Pop that old cap back on. Yes, sir. Just how we always wanted her. Ugh. Since this one has our premium tire on it, she's ready to go right back on. She's ready for a game of Wheel of Fortune. This one spin? Oh, you damn right. Knock the cobwebs off this one and she gets one of the fancy rattle can chrome units. One to go, baby. This truck was pretty hard to move when I unloaded it. I really thought all of them were locked up, so I guess just fighting them flats was whooping me, maybe. All right, this one's got a spider on her, too. See her there? I see all them ants coming out of there? Oh, well, she's ready to blow when you are. Next, you want to wrap that old girl around that sway bar. Best pulling point on the front of a vehicle is your sway bar, guys. I'm just playing. That is not true. And we want to reach up in here and make sure she's in neutral, which she should be, but, you know, never hurts to double check. That sure feels floppy. We're going to wrap the steering wheel with the seat belt to help her kind of stay straight when we drag it. Boy, look at these damn... She's got racing seat belts in her. Look at that. There we go. I'm just going to kind of drop her on right there. We're going to let that old toe roll it do what she does best, baby, and that's the toe. I took you all as far as I could take you to the fence. Hell, that don't matter. Y'all roll good now. Oh yeah, I got you now. Back her up and spin her around. Come on, baby, wiggle worm in here. Coming in, not so hot. Woo! Hey, you know what? We made it, though. That ain't bad for flying Han Solo. Just get out, readjust that belt about 3,000 times, and you can make it in here. Moving vehicles can be hard work, guys. And 12 out of 10 times, hard work results in dirty hands. We work so hard that I feel like I earned me some lunch. So we're going to clean our hands with these TKO hand cleaning wipes by the Sweet Patina. <sighs> Most importantly, these things do their job and they clean great. They are my favorite hand cleaning wipe. I ain't just messing around. Uh, he's got all kinds of cleaning stuff, detailing stuff, Sweet Patina sauce. Guys, all kinds of goodies at the SweetPatina.com. Be sure to use that old promo code on the screen. You're damn right we earned that. We're going to munch down on this, and then we're going to tear it to that truck. My mouth is watering. It's just as good as I remembered it from last time. Woo, baby. Let them bibs do their job now. Hold that belly back. Let's take a quick look at old Whiskey Dent now that we got her in the shop. Up front, that old grill and those little headlight rings right there, they're, they're worth what we paid for the truck. I got this baby for free, by the way. I'll tell you more about that later. Looks like she was in old Tejas at one point. I called her Whiskey Dent because, well, the hood's plumb beat to crap. Look, look at that old dip. 
This fender, she's got her fair share of little whiskey dents. Door's got a couple little dings, nothing too crazy. Same on the bed. This side's pretty good, actually. Now that roof on the other hand, we may have to change her name from whiskey dent to, oh shit. Yeah, that roof's a good one right there, ain't she? We got the single toe mirror there. Oh, she's missing the glass. So we'll just, we'll buff out that stainless and let it reflect instead. So she's got some good rust down in the rockers. Now this is a Datsun 1600. And she may not be from Pot County, but she looks like she belongs in Pot County anyhow. Most folks don't know it. They called it the Datsun 1600 because it could do the work of 1600 men. Because they only made 1600 of these and this was the 1600 one, which makes her super rare. Because the 1600 actually represented how much value this thing would hold over the years. 1600 pennies. Because Datsun knew for a fact I was gonna end up with this truck and they wanted the number of how many asses I've whipped to date this year on the side. 1600. You can't dispute facts guys, look it up. Now she's a nice little short bed. Uh, look at that. Nice little spider web going on. That's good though, she matches our front ones, okay? We gotta keep them uniform. Boy, that sure is some thick stuff on that old side exit uh, tailpipe there. We got diamond plate, bubble gummed to diamond plate. A little freehand torch action, it looks like. That's a good bumper there. Yep, June of 91. Of course, that tailgate's got a little whiskey dent on her. This side don't look too bad till you look right up underneath there, and looks like one of them May Pops slapped her one time. Hey, now. Gotta have a good hanging mud flap. Oh, baby, that bumper quality does not stop up there, does it? No, sir, she does not. She continues down to the bottom side as well. You know what they say. And surface rust, we trust. What we got going in here, anything good? No, sir. Oh, she's, she's a little stuck. Now this cab does have the little vents right there. You know, you gotta keep her cool on the inside. Looks like our antenna's missing here and she got the old tow mirror delete kit going on of course whiskey dent whiskey dent whiskey dent whiskey dent whiskey dent whiskey dent now guys i don't know deadly and i mean deadly about this truck here's how this happened long story short april of last year i was at top golf get my swing on you can tell i got good swing huh uh me and my family went to leave i heard someone yell hey pudding couple of guys. This is the first time I was recognized out in public uh, as a YouTuber, I guess. I talk with these guys and the one guy's like, man, I, I got a Datsun for you. Uh, I'm going out. I, he travels all over with this big old work truck of his. Man, that thing's badass. Hey, but long story short, he hit me up a few months ago, probably January. Coldest, rainiest, freezingest day ever. Out here was a sheet of ice. He backed that big old truck in here. We hooked onto it with the tow roller. I drug her down right there. And uh, yeah, he brought us a Datsun like he said he was going to. So that's a big thank you to Austin for supporting the channel. Uh, now, we don't really need another project going right now, guys. But this thing's been sitting here. We need content. And I ain't even really, look, I mean, I popped the hood when it was cold and seen there's a drivetrain. But I took it back there and she just been waiting for us. She gonna pop or not? Oh yeah, she popped. Everything's covered in some crunchies of some sort, it looks like. Boy, whoever was driving it didn't believe in no return line, did they? So according to that, she's a 73 model. Got Luby Duper bolts. I ain't scared to work and get dirty, but I prefer not to work in the old dirty dirty. So we're gonna pull this hood off. Oh! All right, now we can see. Don't let Mortsky see that starter, it'll break. Look at that custom scoop right there, guys. Somebody angle cut that SOB. Everyone knows that was good for 15 horsepower. You definitely want dirt ready to fall down into your carburetor. Oh, there's a rat's nest. Yep, that's where he pooped. We're gonna hit her with the Turd Sucker Deluxe. Oh, she'll suck.
that's it guys got our vacuumed up washed up gave her a pot county uh hair drying she ain't the cleanest i've ever seen but she ain't too shabby neither i never even seen if this engine was free or not <laughs> hey let's check to see if this engine's free or not uh oh come on baby you can do it get the hell out of here birds Boy, she ain't spun yet. I barely got a breaker bar on it, guys. I'm pretty sure it spun, which is good. Just kind of a pain with the fan and everything there. Can't get it on there again. I'm gonna say it spun, guys. It may have just been a frog hair, but it spun. A spin's a spin. It's funny how you never notice stuff like one inch big red hoses until you wash these damn things. We're like more little uh, plug delete kits here. We got a screw, we got a bolt and a nail. We got the trifecta. Of course, we got our damn tie wire, baby. You gotta have tie wire. Hey, she's redneck enough for me. I like it. Looks like we're a little low on coolant. My goal this evening is to get this thing cranking off the starter. Now, we could just throw a battery in it and try, but I'm gonna take the time and actually pull the spark plugs out we're gonna have a little look-see inside this old motor. Number one right here, we're gonna follow her around. I'm gonna mark it to help me remember. I'm gonna pop number one, number two, number three, number four. She's got them big girthy 13 16 plugs in her. Wasn't very tight. Uh-oh. Hey, she looks pretty good, other than the water I dropped her in. Number two looks good. Number three looks like it killed my battery. <laughs> three looks pretty good. Gap's pretty, pretty closed on that one. And number four looks pretty good, except that gap's pretty closed on her. We ain't use the old boroscope in a minute, so let's give her a try. Now, Austin told me, I believe, they pulled this thing out of a salvage yard. It's kind of how it got a couple whiskey dents on her. He may have been liable for a couple. <laughs> but what I'm getting at is the best we can go off is the license plate, which is 1991. We're going to assume she got parked pretty close after that. I think it's always fun to see what inside these engines look like. Some of these things sometimes look freaking brand new even though they've been sitting and then other times it looks like they stored the damn thing you know just full of salt water and left it hey there we are man that's a good looking guy right there <laughs> can y'all see me there or what hopefully you guys can see here we go into number one there top of the pistons little dirty not really old cylinder walls look good Hey, right, number one's clean as a fresh pit green bean. Number two here. Damn, I see some nice cross hatching on them walls. Yeah, piston's a little dirty again. Not really. Hey, she looks pretty good. Number three. Hey, she's looking about the same as number two. Don't be a bad door, number four. What she got for us? Hey, right, that piston's clean. And the very very little sidewall we can see there cylinder wall i mean she looks pretty clean can't be mad at that guys uh now what does that mean honestly nothing if rings are stuck they're stuck that don't mean anything besides she looks pretty good it makes you feel good if anything we've had good looking engines like that though but some of them just don't want to build compression well would you turn off there we go hey i'm optimistic though She's gonna be a good one, aren't you, baby? She's even got the rare, rare, rare oil cap that's got the elephant on it. Hey, speaking of oil, we can pull that dipstick and see what that looks like. Oh, she's a little stuck. Be good to us, baby. What do you got? Oh, yeah, she's, she's good looking. <laughs> good looking if you're after some freaking Hershey's chocolate syrup for your Sunday. I could sniff that better if I wasn't stopped up. Guys, she don't smell bad. 
Yeah, she does. What she smells like is uh, like gas was getting down in there, but it don't smell like gas. It smells like that real bad gas, like when gas sits for a long time. It's exactly what you want to smell. It's better than having no oil, guys. I guarantee you that. Now, speaking of oil and that old lubrication sensation, we're going to hit some luby doob down them spark plug holes right there. Lube up them old pistons. Oh, pertain a cabinet of wonders here. There we go. We're going to get that old Pro Straw PB Blast. She's got a revolutionary valve that sprays upside down. I can tell you what else she sprays. About the whole can and four squirts if you ain't careful with that big old straw. I guarantee it. Now you can adjust her flow if you want. I like to do power moves, so we're going to take her all the way to the right. We're going to get her locked and loaded here. One, two, three, four, stop. 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 It may not look like it, y'all, but we just hit each cylinder with a quart of PV blast. Each one. That's how much this baby flows. Speaking of power moves, this is what I like to do the old Dotson carburetors right here. In fact, I just kind of like hitting everything because it just don't hurt. Never know, guys. You never know. We may need to change the horn, you know. We may need to lubricate them. What if that coil's bad? Might have to loosen the alternator. Guys, you just never know with this old hardware. You're gonna be a good one, aren't you? I can already tell. I just got a feeling you're gonna be a good one. Gotta drink that water and stay hydrated. Refreshing bottle of water. That's a good one. Little whiskey dent here. I think she's gonna be a good one. But if you guys want to talk about some good ones, well, you gotta check out that merchandise at oldpuddingsfabshop.com, baby. We got all the best stickers here in Pot County. And besides stickers, guys, y'all know good and well, we got all kinds of good shirts, just like this one here with that old travel on the back. Damn, Edna, it looks good, don't she? Whoever buys this one, it's gonna smell like PB Blast. Fair warning. <laughs> if you open your shirt and it smells like hard work, that's because I touched it. It's real simple. Y'all order. Me and my family, we pack it. We ship it, and hopefully when you open it up, it puts a smile on your face. I sell a few more of these, and we're going to be ready to release some new designs again. Got some fun stuff coming up for you guys. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could tell. I just got excited thinking about it. New designs, more different styles of hats and everything. We appreciate y'all support. Now back to your regular television show. Hey, yo, got to plug that merchandise, guys. Uh, let's see about getting this thing cranking not to make mortsky jealous or anything but i'm kind of stocked up on batteries right now now that's a real good looking connection right there i think we'll have to do something about that first we're going to lob off this old hog molly on here that's what fresh copper looks like try not to slice our finger off and strip her back all right that looks a little better anyhow Simply insert your strip cable there. Switch that baby to kill mode and smoke that unit to Alabama. My damn bib pockets are over overflowing with these things from y'all sending them out. So we appreciate that. Let's look at our ground here. And boy, is that one premium looking ground. Holy crap. Ground cable's a little heftier anyhow. That's from a side post. Oh, she's corroded. Look at all that corrosion. What about down here? Oh, she's clean down there, kind of. What about down here? Still a little, but not as bad as she was. What about that? Don't worry about that. I got something that'll take care of that. If I want this right Pot County certified, she's got to have a little electrical tape on her. Boy, howdy. We thought that thing was corroded. Look at that. 
I think I give the Statue of Liberty a damn competition. As long as that engine's grounded, we can get her running. We ain't gonna worry about this too, too much right now. But, because both of these are black, I'm gonna mark our positive. She ain't much, but she's better than nothing. We're gonna get the helper switch on. Instead of having to crank on the key, guys, we can clip one side to the battery, one side down on the starter solenoid, and we can squeeze this trigger and spin her over right there underneath the hood. Or we can't do it underneath the hood, because there ain't no hood. <laughs> so if we pop that out, see that wire right there going to that starter solenoid? We're just gonna pull her off. And we're gonna take one clip, clip her on there. I'm gonna kind of wiggle shake her to clean up some of that metal. Then of course this side just goes there to your positive terminal and we're gonna be good to go. Hey, this battery's all there. That battery's almost the size of that engine. Blue is positive. Our negative don't quite reach. Maybe if we loosen this, rotate her towards the top. It's always good when you rotate it and find more corrosion there. She does reach though. Slight left tap required. We're gonna stand clear over here. I learned that on a green Datsun a year ago. Dumbass! Not a good place to stand. Oh! She ain't liking that. She's spinning, but she ain't liking it. We got some sparks going down here. Clip's a little worn out. I don't think she's getting a good bite. Let's try again. Hey, there we go. Man, she's cranking. That baby is cranking. That damn thing was spinning like nobody's business. Yeah, she flung a little PB blast anyhow. Woo! She's got all the power. Why don't we go ahead and hit this thing with a compression test, just for fun. Never hurts, kind of lets us know where we're at. Screw her down into number one. Well, inside that carburetor's pretty dirty. For a compression test, you usually want your carburetor kind of wide open. That one's full of crap. Basically what I'm saying is, we probably need to pull her off there. Right there's the Datsun carburetor wrench. There's a nut underneath here and she slides right down into place every single time. Yeah, pretty lucky guys. After we broke torque on all these, they've pretty much unthreaded by finger. I ain't had to fight them the whole way. We'll undo our throttle cable here. Of course, we're gonna get her off this bracket. And take her off. Vacuum hose there. I think we're good. Get that last nut. I only lost one out of four. That ain't too bad. Oh yeah. She's a little dirty in there. See all that debris in there? The top of that butterfly is plum covered too. And that's what I didn't want getting sucked down in our engine, guys. The little bit of drip drops there and the PB blast don't really scare me. I damn sure don't when I got the Super Sucker 9000 sitting here. She looks good as new. We ain't gotta worry about sucking crap down in there. And I think that qualifies as your carburetor all the way open. Going live on number one. Holy hell! That is hands down, I think, the most compression we've got out of any single cylinder on Putin's Fab Shop. That baby hit 210. I like to maintain a little notebook as we go. I cannot believe that just hit 210. Let's see about old number two. Guys, she took a couple more cranks, but she got just below 210 too. Hell, I'm a roundup kind of guy. I'm just gonna give it to it. I'm gonna say, screw it, you hit 210. Damn racing engine right here, baby. Going live on number three. Number three ain't quite there, guys. 
but she still hit them 200. I like to keep a small notebook because uh, sometimes I'll do the compression afterwards to see what we improve, but I don't think we're gonna improve from this. Lastly, but not leastly, number four. She got up there about 200 also. You can't be mad at that, guys. Even if it's helping having the carburetor off there, clearly that engine's making good compression. We ain't got sticking rings. We ain't got stuck valves. We got a little 1600 series who's ready to rip. She's worth her 1600 pennies now. She cranks like a screaming demon. She's got compression from you know where. What's the chances we wire up our distributor and we get spark out of this thing with touching nothing? Y'all wanna put money on it? How much damn money you wanna lose? I got enough pockets for all the damn money, y'all. I'm just playing, guys. I doubt we get spark without messing with it, but we're gonna try. We're gonna have to hook this back up. That looks like they've got a wire strip tied into there. That's a real good looking connection there. But hell, we'll try it. I am gonna cheat and put a jumper wire here going to our coil where we know she's hot. We're gonna go one spark plug to one plug wire and we'll just sit her down here to get her grounded. Let's see if she's gonna spark. No spark, no surprise. Uh, I did forget to take the old compression gauge out the number four. Let's pull our coil wire. Take it down here and see if we got spark out of there. It actually sparked twice, guys, so I don't know if the camera picked it up or not, but it's trying. I'm gonna disconnect this and get it out the way. We're gonna pop our cap off here. I'm gonna pull this rotor off if she'll come off. Oh, that rotor's nice and dirty. We're gonna unhook this so we don't ride the lightning. She's actually stopped with the points open there. She's got a pretty nice looking gap. That old eagle eye says the gap's right. Let's try a kind of cleaning on them. Now for over a year, a year, y'all have been asking me to use one of these to clean points. So here we go, guys. These things just ain't for beauty, they're for points. We're gonna open that baby up, put that old fingernail file down in there and just give her a little scrub job. You can see we got a little corrosion off of her for sure. They were dirty. <sighs> Quick little bump. There we go. The points do close all the way. Hit that baby with the Mortsky flick a few times. I bet they're good to go. We're gonna clean up our spade here. She's pretty corroded. She looks good now. Quick little polish job on the tip of this rotor. Top of that was pretty greasy. Pop her back on. There we go. Oh man, look at the corrosion on that cap. Set that old cap to the side. We ain't too worried about it right now. We're gonna see if we can just get spark out of our coil. Put our wire back on here. Get our coil hot. Now hopefully our points are doing their job and we get spark going live. She got some good spark. I bet this like Travis Pastrami or whatever his name is and will jump a big gap. I told you she would. Disconnect that where we don't ride the lightning. Now that we got that coil wire sparking, let's see if we can get her out to our spark plugs. When that coil wire's on there, that same spark comes through that cap right there in the center. That's gonna touch that. That sends a spark over here and then as that spins, it sends it out to each spark plug. And that's how you get a spark at each different spark plug, guys. I know most of y'all know that and know more than me, but some people just don't know. I'm gonna try my luck with this thing again. So each little stud in here is gonna get a quick polish job. <laughs> that was smart, wasn't it? Pop her back on. God bless America. My finger touched that and it lit me up, guys. I got my hot wire here 
Hey, maybe this thing's got a key on. Maybe we got voltage there anyhow. Uh, according to that test light, we got power there. So that's how I just got lit up. Yeah, someone's got her wedged over here. That little red light's a good indicator. So she is in light your ass up mode, so just be aware. <laughs> Pop our wire back on there. Let's get our spark plug ready. Testing for spark. I hope you guys could see that. She was sparking, guys. We've got spark. We've got, we've got the best compression to date from anything we've drug home. She needs some fuel, and I think she's going to sing a song. But we got a cheerleader banquet awards. I'm nominated. <laughs> I'm just playing, guys. Uh, it's for my oldest daughter. Hey, I do have a pretty mean toe touch. Y'all gonna make me do this, aren't you? Yeah, bless, I'm hurting already. <laughs> to be fair, the bibs restrict you, okay? If I was in shorts, it would look twice as good, I promise. One, two, ready, and... I usually get it up to about here, but in bibs it stops you about right here. Ugh. I'm playing it off like that didn't hurt. I really should consider stretching sometime. Man, y'all got me distracted again. Uh, we're gonna unhook our battery. We'll be back on her on the back on her in the morning, guys. That's because these hand wipes smell so good, it just gets me all flustered. Wind ain't left yet. Today, straight to the carburetor. Gotta love these carburetors. One, two, three, four, five, six wires hanging off of her. Custom vacuum plugger. Uh, I'm just worried about seeing if she'll clean out. Oh, she ain't stuck, okay? She's cycling. Get a hold of the old secondaries there and see if we can get her pried open a little more. There we go. Y'all see this? That's what we're after. We ain't trying to run nothing through this engine. Check our old primary here. She just got a couple cobwebs on her. She still got a bunch down in her though. We're gonna pin our choke open. We're gonna blow her out from the bottom side. How's that? Let's see here. See how we did? She looks pretty good. I like to use a brake clean on these things. That ain't brake clean, that ain't brake clean. There we go, right there. You always wanna hit it with the upside down flip spray. Lubricate it good, let it soak for a day. Pull out the crummies, spray her out. Good to go. She looks pretty good in there now. So for now, we're gonna try it. Just see if we happen to get lucky for once. I don't think we've had a little mini truck with a good carburetor yet. Gonna get her a little more our style. So we're gonna get rid of that. Them rats damn near did that anyhow. Trim that one up. Pull that off. Pull that off. Trim that. Pull that. Take the wire off our choke here. Uh, I just noticed our choke's actually missing a throt or not a throttle, a damn lever to go from there to there. So it ain't actually hooked up to nothing. The looby dooby down in there, that ain't gonna hurt nothing. I'm trying to send a little looby dooby down in her and she won't take none. Pull her Phillips here for our little retaining bracket. There we go. If you don't keep miniature channel locks in your bed pockets, what are you really doing with your life, huh? Boy, don't make me look bad on national television. Come on. Gow! <laughs> you just leave them in that bib pocket and don't worry about those. Them channel locks don't work. Just get the I ain't got no time for game 1250 out on her. Yeah, that'll work. That'll teach her. Well, that flows all right.
We got some Luby Dooby in there. Oh! <laughs> and that Luby Dooby just makes everything slippery. I ain't scared. I'll put a little more Luby Dooby in her. Watch this. I'll crank on it. Hey! Our accelerator pump's pumping. Gotta pull one intake bolt here where we can get these damn fuel hoses out our way. Having a hard time snugging up these bolts. They weren't very tight anyways, guys. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing was sucking vacuum uh, underneath that back in the day. There we go, we can get her snug now. She was not that tight before, I guarantee it. Hell, I guess we can put that back on. A little snug in there. A little snugging and a hugging. There we go, get that hugging that. With that tightened down, we're gonna look at vacuum. Uh, just right there, we're coming off of the intake. We got all kinds of hoses going to nothing. Just looks like a bunch of vacuum leaks to me, guys. For now, we're just gonna pull that off there. We're gonna plug that. I'm gonna plug that down there. There's another one down there we're gonna plug. We need one piece of vacuum hose to go from our vacuum advance to this one port over here. There we go. The piece I have may be a hair big. We're gonna try her anyhow. She'll work or she won't. Next, the spark plugs get the redneck restoration. For a dirty spark plug like this that just needs a decent cleaning, I actually like to use a good carb cleaner. What's our plug gap supposed to be? Less than 20 thou? I doubt it. Let's open this girl up a bit. And by a bit, guys, I mean a bit. There we go. You know what they say. If the beauty will clean points, she'll clean a plug. One more spray. Have this little look-see here. Courier, Datsun, tune-up specifications. Get my old reading spectacles on here. There we go. 1973 L16 gap. 30 thousandths. Now that old point gap is 20 thousandths. So I think in the past, somebody probably uh, read that old point gap and set them plugs. I done sink that point gap and I guarantee you it's not at 30 thou, so we're good there. That good old fourth edition delivers again, baby. Couldn't have done that without my reading specs. 30 thou. There we go, got all four of them dead. Slap them in the truck. Snug. 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 There she is right there. Got your fire in order, one, three, four, two. We already knew that. She goes counterclockwise. We already knew that. But there you go in diagram form. Right here's number one. We marked her. We'll pop her in the little holder there and take her to number one. Counterclockwise, we got number three next. Four. Pop her. And lastly, we got good old number two. Number two will do. Right here, we got a fresh bottle, some get her done 91. Uh, Let's see if she wants to run at all before we mess with anything else, guys. Stick that old choke open there. There we go. Hit her with a little get her done 91. Going live. Come on, baby. Come on. Hey, she's running, guys. Uh, our little choke screwdriver thing here. Well, she came loose. I'm just going to send that actually down in it there. There we go. That ain't coming loose. Round two. Come on, baby. No, she's thinking about it. Oh, 
She's smoking a little bit. <laughs> we should be able to keep her running off the bottle, guys. I'm gonna just pour some into the bowl here. We'll see if she wants to run that away. The motor itself sounds pretty healthy. No real loud ticks, clanks, thuds, you know, nothing scary like that. Uh, obviously, we're having some fuel issues here. She's gonna run, guys. Uh, we gotta get a little bit better fuel system going here. She's the little steaming, screaming demon right there. Don't really look like we shot anything out the tailpipe I can see. Maybe a little white smoke. Hopefully the old tailpipe cam got her. Let's get a fuel pump rigged up here. There we go, that's what we're after. We're gonna hook this up to here. See how she splits to two lines? This one was plugged off, she just broke. See that little pinhole down in there, maybe? That pinhole regulates how much fuel can go through there where it gives the right amount of fuel pressure up there but allows it to return. We're gonna hook all that back up. We're just gonna assume that fuel pump's bad and we're gonna go with the old electric one. There we go. Just chip her straight in half. Loop us a piece on here, supplying our carburetor. Damn right. Hell no, my hood don't close, but at least I got an electric fuel pump. Get our fuel pickup on. Now we need to mount our sweet custom tank. Here she is. A couple zip ties go a long way. That's pretty far away, so we're gonna need a double here. Oh, there we go. Just spill a little bit down the fender. Take one of the real big ends and slap them together. She's solid now. Got her locked onto that old firewall. Of course, that return just barely reaches. That's good. Now we're gonna utilize our little jumper wires here. Before we fire her up and start tuning on it, let's put a little water in the old radiator. And by tune on it, I mean try to tune on it. We're gonna try our fuel pump out here. She's working. Once that bowl fills up, and that needle seats, it should start forcing fuel back through here. Uh-huh, about that. <laughs> it helps if you mount that the right way. Gave that the swap a -rui. We're not even getting fuel there yet. See if we get her primed here, maybe. beating on it don't fix it i don't know what will i just swapped out this fuel pump and i think i realized what i did here basically i'm all kinds of bass backwards i'm pretty sure that's our return right there i've got it on the supply uh these need to do the swap -rui. yeah i bet it's hard to send fuel through that little tiny pinhole pump the right direction lines going to the correct place maybe she'll work now Can't get no damn gas out of these things, guys. Tried a third fuel pump and still can't get it. Guys, I've never had troubles out of these fuel pumps before. I can get gas, guys. It just won't build no damn pressure. I refuse to believe that all three of them fuel pumps are bad. Well, 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 look who's here.
She's easy to unload when you got a few extra hands. Oh, does anybody like Swiss cheese? Because I got enough for everybody, don't I? The floors need a little work, but she's looking good enough for our little budget Datsun build, ain't she? It's cool to see her in a color there, but I really don't care about that. I want to know why we can't get no damn gas out of these fuel pumps. We sure have wasted a lot of time playing butt grab with this damn thing. There we go. Throw our fuel hose on there. Pop us a little hole in her where she can breathe. There we go. Be real easy to drive around like that. Let's see if she's gonna run. See if we can maybe get it to hold idle. And hopefully she don't backfire because we'll burn this damn place down. <laughs> off that gas guys like i said that carb seems to be working which is pretty impressive oh Don't be scared to grab that when it's wet. Oh, man, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I've been shocked too many times. Too many times. We're just gonna pull this car back off real quick. As tight as I had those, this here could have been the reason this thing got parked, guys. Those were loose whenever I took them off. That thing was probably definitely sucking air underneath there. When they suck vacuum like that, guys, they'll be all over the damn place. You gotta get her sealed up good. Well, there is a gasket underneath there. That's what I was curious about. Well, she wants to play games, huh? I ain't got time for games. We just want her sealed good enough for now. If it don't seal, at least we'll never get it off again. <laughs> now I'm gonna see if I can find some washers for these nuts. I tried priming each one and just 
They don't work. What do you say about it? Hell, I don't know. We gotta worry about it running right before we worry about the fuel pumps too much. She'll do. Here we go, perfect. I'm gonna back that idle out quite a bit. She was pretty far in. So if someone was chasing that vacuum leak, they may have cranked her in trying to give her more gas. Our accelerator pump quit working, no surprise there. Y'all hear that backfire? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure all of Pot County heard that backfire. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> now she's just a backfiring machine, guys. Well, what the hell, over? Damn it, guys. I thought this one had a good carburetor on it, but I guess it don't. She smashed up, and uh, I thought it was rebuilt, actually. Either way, she needs rebuilt and straightened out, too, so that don't do us no good. Kind of in a pickle, aren't we? As good as yesterday went, honestly, today, she kind of whipped me, guys. With no good carburetor, no good chance of getting one here on time for the video, we're kind of at a standstill because... I think it needs a fuel pump one and then a carburetor guys i thought it'd be kind of fun to drive it around like that if we could have got it going i was going to try to at least bleed the clutch i know the brakes are going to be garbage but we could have maybe hit it down and back i don't even know what we're actually going to do with this truck i have a plan at 250k subscribers maybe to do a little project giveaway to somebody we got that tan mazda we got the orange datsun so maybe we'll do a little mini truck giveaway eventually. Luckily, we got 100,000 subscribers to go before I really got to worry about that. So I got some time to think on it. We know she has potential. We know we have time. We're not going to get too distracted by this Datsun. Because we still want to get this Datsun on the road, guys. If we did anything, I guarantee you if we pull them plugs with that carburetor on there and do a compression test, we lost compression. <laughs> Throttle wired open, choke shoved open. Just under a buck 80. Uh huh. A buck 80, and I just heard a valve stick. When a valve sticks and it pops, I heard one do it. Stick and valve would explain our backfiring we were having earlier. Number four, buck 70. I heard the valve do it again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
where I showed you successfully how to drop the compression of your engine. Most folks don't know it, but the lower the compression, the lower end torque you get, so I ain't mad at it. I had fun piddling with old Whiskey Dent. Now as we roll into next week, guys, I'm kinda at a weird spot on this truck here. She needs a little body work and yeah, that, that old sheet metal repair. Problem with that truck is, guys, there's a lot of work there that don't really make a good video. I'm thinking about kind of divvying it up. I may, I may not, I don't quite know. So we may be doing some metal repair. If we're not, we are gonna do a will it run on a project that's gonna stick around. It ain't just a little beater like old whiskey dent here. Who am I joking? It's definitely a beater. Uh, it's what I've been hiding with the logo if that makes y'all curious. Every time I accidentally look that way and I pop the logo up, this is what I've been hiding. Maybe you'll see it next week. Maybe you won't. Who knows? Because I don't. Guys, I appreciate y'all watching. I understand this wasn't my greatest video, okay? Uh, I'm really just poom, 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 firing from the hip. I am having a little fun this week. I did have fun. I hope y'all enjoyed. I'm on the Instagram, Patreon. We appreciate all the merchandise uh, support from you guys. And what is it? We're going to release something. Hell, I'm feeling frisky. You guys always try to remind me to call Jim Alva. I just thought it would be fun to help you guys remember that maybe y'all need to call Jim Alva. So fresh off the press, just got in today. We got the Call Jim Alva bumper sticker. <laughs> Not the best product I've ever come out with, but it was too fun and I couldn't resist. She ain't official till she makes it on the old bead roller. And bumper stickers are supposed to go on bumpers. There we go. Anyone who really pays attention to Puddin's Fab Shop, they'll get that joke, okay? Uh, appreciate y'all. I will see you guys next time. But don't forget, sitting on your ass won't finish your project. Neither will not actually getting it running. That just leaves you on a cliffhanger. That's all that does. PD. <laughs> They've got me before, guys. I've been pulled over, been arrested here a couple times. They got me. I was up on the corner hooking it one day. <laughs> Not like that, guys. I mean, I hooked the corner. I, I slid the corner. I hooked it. What were y'all thinking?